Now, only a fraction of the pandemic relief funds have been distributed, but nearly $100 billion has been stolen from those coffers. Eamon Jabbers joins me now with what's being done to fight it. Eamon? Yeah, John, that's right. And that $100 billion that you're talking about could make this the largest fraud of all time. Law enforcement, enforcement officials expect they're going to spend years clawing back as much of that money as they can. So far, the Secret Service says its investigations have led to the arrests of 100 people and the seizure of more than $1.2 billion, as well as the return of over $2.3 billion in stolen funds. As a taxpayer, um, it kind of, uh, it's, it's shameful to think that individuals would take advantage of these uh, programs that were established for people that were truly in need because of COVID-19 um, and that they would target them for their own personal you know, advantage. Now, the Secret Service announced this morning that it's appointing Roy Dotson to the new position of National Pandemic Fraud Recovery Coordinator, where he's going to coordinate all of the service's pandemic investigations. He told me he's amazed at the scale of the problem. I've been in law enforcement for over 29 years and, and worked some complex fraud investigations for, you know, 20 plus years, and I've never seen something at this scale. Now, John, the good news here is that the Secret Service has more than 900 active investigations into this fraud right now. And Dotson says he's been working effectively with private sector financial institutions, including PayPal, to recover all of that stolen money.